How you doing you beautiful people? Now today I was just working on the property because I got something in store for you guys all that I'm gonna be doing something new to create an extra three to maybe $5,000 a month in free cash flows. But we'll have to get some work on. But first, can you guys see all that? We are doing the shipping container homes. We actually are building four shipping containers right here, but there is something that we're gonna be talking about in this video that you must do if you're gonna be building a shipping container, but in actuality, anytime you're about to do any type of build project, this is the most important thing. Take a look at this. that thing it's called hub and tack and i'm going to tell you all about why that's the most crucial thing especially if you're going to be building shipping containers let's go now i know only about 15 to 20 percent of you are actually subscribed to the channel who are watching this right now so do me a favor subscribe and click that like button if you like videos like this where i am going to take you through how i make my money how you can possibly make money but more importantly how you can do really fun build projects such as this right here that we have laid out and in the future maybe you guys can even build something like that it took me about two years, but it was a lot of fun. So get down there, hit that subscribe button, and then hit the like button, and thank you. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's take a look at this. So you guys see this right here? Each one of these stakes, the stakes are just markers, so we know where they are, so it's not like kind of hunting them out, but there's something right down there. Those little orange stakes with that little uh, the tack in it, it's called the hub and tack. But essentially, each one of those orange markers with a pin, that is the exact spot per design from the engineers of where the pier foundations need to be. Now, you're probably asking, why is that so important? How come you had to have all this fancy equipment to do that? Well, let's take a look at that video first to see what they're doing, and then I'll explain it to you, okay? So how this works is that based on my container design, I worked with my structural engineer to flesh out the details of the foundation. Now there are several different types of foundations you can use for container homes or any unique home for that matter of fact. There's slab, perimeter, piers, and probably some other ones I'm not even very familiar with. But for this project, piers made the most sense because I had several feet of fill dirt to get through before hitting solid soil. And I'll show you at the end of this video what happens when you don't do that. So the structural engineer designed a pier foundation system that has to be absolutely spot on for the shipping container since they will be arriving obviously pre-built and need to sit on the piers flush. So technically we could do this with just a marker and tape measure but that would take me literally all day and I'm not that confident with my geometry. These guys who are land surveyors will take the engineer's specifications, put it in their software and do some hocus pocus in their devices and mark exactly down to one eighth of an inch of exactly where the center of each pier is supposed to be. It's really amazing what science and technology can do these days. Now, if I wasn't yapping this poor guy's ears off and asking all the questions, he would have been done probably in 30, 40 minutes tops. In the end, we marked out all 21 piers dead center and then staked out each one so that the drill team next week will know exactly where the mark is and where to drill for the piers. All right, so now the reason why we had to do this is that we have 21 piers holding up this foundation or holding up the shipping containers. And the foundations for shipping containers are crucial because a couple of things. One, you've got a live load. You've got people living inside of it. It's gonna be moving basically because people are walking back and forth. You're moving furniture around, that type of stuff. And you want it secure just in case an earthquake happens or something, you don't want them falling over. And, and since we're gonna be welding containers together, we don't want them moving and separating from one another. So foundation is crucial. And the reason why it's more important, it's always important foundation, but why it's more important with shipping containers is because the shipping container is already pre-built. You're basically bringing it onto the land and it has this steel perimeter all the way around the outside that supports the weight of the container and everything inside of it. And it's critical that you support that, especially when you're lifting it up off the ground, which we are here. We're gonna have about piers that are about 18 inches off the ground. You have to support that weight. And if you don't do it right, what ends up happening is that these 40 foot long containers, you'll find a little bit of a bounce inside the home. And then also, you could have a crooked container or you could have crooked floors basically. And it's gonna be very difficult to weld. It's not gonna be structurally sound and now you have real issues. Now typically why this isn't such a big deal when you're doing a traditional home, like more of kind of something back there where we have a lot of wood framing is that even if the foundation is off a little bit, it's not that big of a deal because we can frame around it. We can move. Wood is easy to work with, especially with bolts and screws and everything like that. When you're dealing with a 40 foot container, it's already showing up on site 
ready to go. You need to make sure that everything's level for when the crane drops it down, your welder can weld it to the piers, which is gonna be all these stakes. That's the 21 piers that we have going on. And that's the short and skinny of it. Just remember the foundation is always the one of the most crucial parts because otherwise, you guys see this house right behind me? I don't hope the neighbors aren't here. If you guys can see that right there, it's actually sinking. And the reason behind that is because they did not do a very good job of the foundation. You see how it's kind of slanted? The foundation wasn't done correctly. And so what ends up happening is it can either continue sliding and slide down that slope, or what ended up happening is that it had plumbing in there, and because it kept sliding, it broke all the plumbing underneath, and it cracked it, and they had a huge plumbing leak. That's not good. It's a lot of wasted money and time and effort, and then you have an ugly sloped home, so and it's gonna be hard to sell. So anyways, that's the main reason why it's so important. Hub and tack, make sure you get it done, especially when you're doing something with a unique home like a shipping container, and you need the foundation to be spot on. You can usually find it through any type of company that does uh, land surveying, you just called Hub and Tack, and they're all over the nation. Almost any land serving or, or engineering company can do it. It costs from a couple hundred to several hundred dollars, depending on what you need to get done. But all in all, this one costs six hundred dollars. The guy was out here for about two hours, about maybe an hour or two inside the office because they have to do all the calculations and then um, put in their software. I'm not going to even begin to try to explain it to you because I don't really understand it. It's just really cool to see. And then they take care of it. And now. The foundation guys, or there are drillers, know exactly where to drill. And that's why you see that tack in there. That tack is exactly the center of where that pier is supposed to be. All right, so that's it, folks. If you guys like this and you found it helpful, stick around. I'm gonna do a lot more stuff on as we build out this whole area. As you can see, I have my work cut out for me. And a little bit quick tip for you guys who stayed to all the way to the end is right over here. I'm doing something else to generate that extra cash flow. Because I have a, quite a bit of land here, um, I'm gonna do something kind of cool. Just create that fire pit. We're turning this into a fully luxurious Airbnb, which we are gonna up the price by about 50%. And then right down here, whoop, you can kind of see where I cleared it out. You might not be able to see it, but right down here, I'm clearing out an area of brush because I am going to do glamping. Yes, that's glamping because look at that view. Look at that beautiful view. It's gonna hopefully generate a lot of extra revenue and give some couples a nice place to kind of get out of the city and escape and have a romantic getaway. So stick around, subscribe to the channel and like this video if you liked it. Stay tuned for a lot more fun building projects. Let's go.